Welcome to my channel Driven Dreams, today we will have a review of the 2024 Tesla Model Y. The 2024 Model Y is Tesla's smaller hybrid SUV. It was perhaps the earliest completely electric smaller hybrid to stir things up around town, and it is basically the norm by which any remaining participants in the fragment are judged, and for good explanation. It's extensive and somewhat agreeable, it accompanies a lot of reach and power, and it's loaded with a lot of innovation includes that most Tesla proprietors love. However the Model Y is the ongoing benchmark in its group, rivals from heritage automakers are rapidly getting up to speed. It's consequently that Tesla could in all likelihood be wanting to refresh the Model Y for the 2024 model year. It's all gossip as of now, yet refreshed styling, both all around, and new or changed highlights appear to be the probably going to us. Nonetheless, realize that Tesla doesn't stick to severe schedule a very long time for delivering refreshes. Any update, on the off chance that it comes, could straightforwardly occur for 2023. Speed increase is certainly not a flimsy spot. During Edmund's trying, the Model Y long reach required simply 4.8 seconds to arrive at 60 miles per hour from a halt. Furthermore, notwithstanding being outfitted with the entire season tires, which are ordinarily planned more for wear obstruction than street hold, our test vehicle dealt with an extremely noteworthy preventing distance from 60 miles per hour of only 112 feet. Both of those numbers are superior to we expected and great for the EV fragment. Directing and dealing with are additionally excellent notwithstanding the Model Y's significant burden. The guiding feels light and rushes to answer inputs, providing you with a feeling of control and association through a corner. There's negligible body roll as well, particularly for a SUV. Around drivability is magnificent. Prepared EV drivers will see the value in the movable regenerative slowing down that permits you to drive almost solely utilizing the perfect pedal. The Model Y's freight space is enormous. Tesla refers to 68 cubic feet of most extreme limit, however indistinct whether number incorporates the front trunk. The back seats don't overlap totally level, yet there's a wide opening and a simple burden in level. The removable freight floor gives significantly more back stockpiling under. The mid-control area has a sliding container cover and suede its cell phone charging spaces. Kids security seat convenience is normal for a SUV of this size. There's adequate room for even the biggest of kids seats. The lower vehicle seat secures, in any case, have little passageways and are difficult to circle through. The top tie focuses are on the lower side of the back seats and can be difficult to reach. The Model Y's lodge is roomy, with bunches of headroom and legroom for all inhabitants. Getting in and out is simple on account of the wide opening entryways, tall rooftop and low step over level. The Model Y's accessible third line seat is confined yet adds 7 traveler capacity would it be a good idea for you want it when absolutely necessary. Unfortunately, the huge touch screen, while it looks cool and present day, is the wise single passage to controlling almost everything. There's an expectation to learn and adapt to utilizing the controls, and the framework is by and large diverting to use while driving. Another issue, assuming the touch screen goes missing, you lose most of admittance to the Model Y's controls. Forward perceivability is great because of the tall and wide windshield and short hood. There's just a touch of impediment from the enormous front windshield points of support while you're making turns. Back perceivability, notwithstanding, resembles what you get in a game car. The thin back window and high back belt line enormously limit what you can see out of the back. There are critical upsides and downsides with regards to the Model Y's innovation highlights. The huge focus screen is not difficult to see and has fresh looking designs. The root framework, which is Google based, is additionally clear and simple to peruse. However, the framework can be delayed to refresh in inconsistent performance regions, leaving you briefly mapless. The sound quality from the 14 speaker sound framework is vivid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.